wired to this connect. Make sure you have everything connected correctly, that you haven't missed anything. Um, and I'm pretty sure we have. So here we'll start at the input. In one meg to ground goes to the gate of Q1. Let's actually name this Q1 because I think it's messed up. Yep. Gate of Q1. The source of Q1 has a 1.5k resistor to ground. This is the ground. And a 22u cap to ground. That goes to ground. The drain is connected to a 100k trimmer, which is connected to the voltage rail. And then that runs a 47 nanofarad cap to pin to, or plug two of volume slash gain control, which is this one. Hey, let's label that. Call that volume. Like the schematic. Out of lug three, our lug one goes to ground. Out of lug three, that goes to our next transistor stage, which has a 220k resistor to ground. It's the gate. Source, again, has a 1.5k resistor to ground and a 22 microfarad cap to ground. The drain, as well, hits a 100k trimmer, which then moves on to our EQ section, which has a 100k resistor going to the 100 nanofarad cap and a 47 nanofarad cap. The 47 nanofarad cap goes to mid 2 and 3 which is also connected to base one, mid one going to ground. Cool. Base two and three are connected to that 100 and cap, which is, and base one, we've already, yeah, connects to mids one, and that base two and three is also connected to treble one. So we have this long trace that goes to treble one. Up here we have the 250p, cap that goes to treble three. Yep. Treble two is our output from that. The 100k into the gate of Q3. The source of Q3 does a one and a half k resistor to ground and a 22u cap to ground. The drain is connected to a 100k trimmer and the 47 nanofarad is the output capacitor from that that goes through a 10p and 3.3 meg resistor array into the gate of Q4 with a 220k to ground. Source has an 820 ohm resistor to ground and a 2 or 22 UF cap to ground. Output from the drain is a 15 nanofarad capacitor. Also there's the trimmer to the voltage rail, that's good. 15K, 3.3N to ground, 15K to pin three, and also a 3.3N to ground there. Two to out, one to ground. So this all looks good. Now is when I go in and kind of tidy things up a little bit. Um, kind of throw in some angled traces, because I like them. Here, and we'll put one up here as well. This looks a little crazy. We can probably make it look a little bit more like that one. Make life a little, a little easier on the people who are, might be building this on perf. So let's move this one over. And that should do it. Oops. And rotate it. Eh, it may not make anything easier for the perf people, but there you go. It looks a little better. So at this point, we can, well, at this point, you should probably save it. File, save. You should probably have saved it way earlier. I'm going to call this the runoff groove uno. OK. 
Okay. Let's pull this over here. Um, and since this is all on a one point or a point one inch grid, that's perf. Let's uh, put a perf board behind it so it looks like that. We'll pull these labels down for now. Great, kind of looks like something that would actually be built. Um, from here, what I do is I take, I go up here to the layers and hit trace and select all. And I copy that and paste it over here. This will be the PCB side. And we'll put a PCB board behind it. Now, because we don't have any connections around the perimeter or on this perimeter edge, we can shrink up the edge of the board a little bit. So I'm going to put the grid to 05 and there. Uh, there will be plenty of space for the traces, but since we don't have any big pads there, that's all good. Now, from here, I go in and color code. These are all ground. Green is ground. Let's deselect the... I'm on a Mac, and for whatever reason, DIYLC on a Mac um, doesn't use the normal command key to select extra things or you know, command C for copy versus control C. But control button is still the same as left click or right click. And so that brings up this menu all the time. So bear with me. It's not that big a deal, but it's annoying. It has been fixed in, I think, the in uh, 3.40 version, the newest version. Um, actually has the, for the Mac version, it has um, the command key instead of control key for all the keyboard shortcuts. Anyway, I digress. This is all our ground connections. <clears throat> so I'm going to group that. You can either right click and hit group or hit command or control G and that groups it. Um, I double click. I'm going to change the color to green. And then the next one would be voltage. So we'll select those and group them. And that's going to be red. Then we're going to go in and do the pads. Um, ground pads first, because there's several of them. Group, double click green and then all the pads for audio are where audio is going to be in the audio path okay group those together and make them blue and come back and make this red. Now, because all those things are grouped, we can just select the whole bit and deselect by again uh, control clicking um, what we don't need selected. So deselect the board, the ground plane, the voltage rail, and the audio pads. That should leave us with the audio uh, track. Now, if you get that mean if that that uh, edit selection window come up, that means you forgot to deselect something. So ungroup command U and the it was the voltage pad I forgot to do. So now we group all the audio traces. Aha, now we can change the color. Blue. Great, then select the whole thing deselect the ground trace and hit command U and that ungroups everything. Now 
we come up here again and go to tr to components select all and I'm gonna cut them with command X or control X and then paste them over here yeah that's the right place now this is why I still use um, 3.28 in the newer versions I've tried and I should probably contact um, this guy but I haven't um, but I should let him know and if you're watching this hey I'm letting you know um, the what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go up to config and turn on auto create pads okay now I'm going to select a or create a new pad and I don't want the full 0.09 inch pad I'm gonna make that smaller to 0.05 to show where the connections are for the perf um, oops what you need to do is select this checkbox over here that makes it the default click OK you can delete that now since we have auto gray pads on we'll paste the components again and boom turn off auto gray pads and now under each component is the holes for the uh, the component legs and what that allows me to do is that now I can go up to layers components and lock then I can select the whole perf board copy that scroll down a little bit and paste it and that way you can see where all the connections are made from the underside. Uh, later I will go in and I will flip this whole board. I do that in Photoshop, um, but that's getting ahead of ourselves. So back to our unlock all the components, back to the um, PCB side. Um, we're gonna give the transistors their proper names. So we're gonna group those and click on name. And we got a little bit of confusion. This should be, oops, on ungroup. This should be Q2. This should be Q3. And this should be Q4. Now the reason they're ordered that way is because we went backwards to forwards, or output to input. <clears throat> if you go the other way, they'll order, they'll number themselves correctly. We also copied and pasted a couple of them, so that didn't help. But we've got that figured out. Now Now we need to just, ad we can adjust things because we're now at that 0 0.05 inch grid. We can adjust any uh, alignment things we want to do. Like, it'd be nice if this wasn't kind of down to one side. It'd be cool if it was here. And so what we'll do is we'll modify the traces below it a little bit. Um, we'll just copy some traces. And I'll go right under there. Fix that up. Cool. That looks better. Um, not a lot we can do over here. And we could move this guy over a little bit. Just reorganize. This is not exactly the most necessary step, but I am a bit of a designer slash, uh, I don't know, I get OCD about stuff. <laughs> and I like it to line up a little more symmetrically than over here. Over here you're limited by what the perf board allows. So. All right, that looks pretty good.